Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at creating and uh, sending out our first assignments. And in this case we're going to be focusing around work, uh, sorry, word-based uh, worksheets. Um, now a lot of you may already have worksheets uh, saved as a Word document. So later on in the video or later on in a different clip I'll show you how to convert them. Uh, but for now I'm going to show you how you actually make one on Google Drive and then show it on here and how you can actually utilize it. So I've got one example here and I've just called it example for now. Um, as you can probably see in a second, example worksheet, World War Trenches. And I haven't bothered to actually put any questions in here because I'm sure you get the point. You put a title, you put your first question. Uh, I'm assuming most of you uh, know how to create a, a bullet point list, but in case you don't, it's right there, numbered. And what I've done is basically spaced them out so that when I send it to students, they can just read the question and start writing their answers straight after. Okay? So you would assume you have your question space, question two space, question three space, and then maybe even an exam style question. So this could be something that students do after uh, a briefing at the beginning of the lesson to do now with the starter. Then you have some kind of a teaching elements so or 10, 15 minutes, uh, and then you give them 10 or 15 minutes to then have almost like a mini assessment. Now it can be an assessment, it could be a classroom activity, this could be a homework activity, it doesn't really make a difference. But this is basically if you want to have a, a, a question-based assessment or activity. So once you've um, uh, designed it and laid it out to the way you're happy with, um, hopefully it's saved because it saves automatically if you've created it on Google Drive. Uh, if you can't tell, this is a Google Doc uh, file. Um, and if you don't know how to go onto that, make sure you go and watch my... Uh, next video i'm not sure if it's the one after this the one after that but you'll see there'll be a video soon which will show you how to create these resources or convert them so in this case just let's just pretend um either a you know how to do this or b you um already have one saved on google drive so that's what it looks like i go back over here go to classroom so this is the main dashboard classroom and this time i'm going to click on create an assignment now, what's good is that obviously you have to create a title for it so that you can say main activity or assessment activity, test, whatever you want to call it. Um, my spelling, honestly, I do apologize. Um, and then you give some extra instructions. So you might say it's a solo activity they do in silence uh, and they have um, 15 minutes to complete. And then you have to add your document. Now this time I'm going to go to Google Drive because that's what it's saved and you've seen that I was just working on it and uh, it's important that you remember what it's called. So this one's called exam worksheet uh, right there. If I hover, if, when I hover over it, it does, it does tell me example worksheet and lo and behold it's actually there as well. So it's quite useful that um, it does have a recent button uh, tool which remembers the last thing you've been working on makes it so much more easy to find, but you can alternatively just search for it here if you know the name of the file. So I'm gonna click on that and then click add. Now what's really important is if you look here, is the students can view the file. And I don't want them to just be able to see it. I want to give them a copy each individually. So if you click on the drop down arrow here, it says make a copy for each student. That's very important because if you don't do that, it means they can't work on it. So once you've done that, you got the instructions. You can then choose a class, make sure you're happy with that. Uh, exclude students that you don't want to see or just keep it as it is. Do topic if you have it. And that's basically it. You don't need to do anything else. And you click assign. Um, I'm going to choose a different class because I am doing a running a CBD session tomorrow or tomorrow at my workplace. There you are. So that way it saves me some time as well. So you can see that in action. So you see in this example I'm using in this classroom here, but I've actually got another Google Classroom CBD uh, session that I'm running uh, tomorrow as you see the date. So I'm clicking it there as well. So it saves me some time. Uh, and once it's done, just click on the sign. And that's basically it. Now what's great about this, and I'm going to show you this now actually, is that any kind of Word document style or Google Doc uh, file, you will obviously want to know how you actually mark it. How do you give them feedback? Well, you could do the old fashioned way of going into this, <coughs> excuse me, and you can actually click on these and see who's handed it in, who hasn't. 
Um, but if I go in here and then go into this, um, usually they have like a folder here, so you can actually, well, obviously it would make sense. Uh, I don't have anyone on here, I don't, I don't have any students, but you'll see a folder icon here somewhere, which you can click on, and then um, it opens up a folder with everyone's <coughs> assessment or the name of the activity that you sent them with individual names attached to each file. So it makes it dead easy to find out whose file belongs to who. And you just double click it and it opens up a, as, a, as a separate tab uh, similar to this. And this is obviously the my master copy. But let's imagine for, for now, this is the one I've double clicked and you'll see the person's name like Tom Smith here at the end of the name for the file. So you'll see the name of the file and then it'll say there the student's name right at the end. And let's just imagine they put their answer here, okay? And you want to give them feedback. You highlight it, and you should get this little bubble here where it says add comment, or you can alternatively go up here. Um, if you do go up here, then you'd have to go to comments, and then it comes up. Okay, so let me show you the other way as well. If you click on that, it goes directly to that. You can see my name there, so you'll see your name instead, and you give them some uh, feedback here simple yeah it could be positive it could be constructive criticism it could be something they need to add change or take out and once you've done that you press on comment and what's amazing with this feature is that the students will then be able to obviously they'll make the changes on the sheet itself here but they can reply to you here and when they do that you instantly get an email uh, saying that the students replied and then you can have a dialogue like that um, which is obviously a great tool. So this is how easy it is to create, send, and then assess uh, written uh, Word-style worksheets on Google Drive using Google Classroom. Um, now, if they do click Resolve, it's not the end of the world because obviously it disappears and you see the highlighting is gone and you're thinking, oh God, my work is gone, my feedback is gone, and how do I prove that? I've given them feedback, not an issue. You click on there, you can click on the history, everything pops up here and you can scroll down if it's more than one. And if you click on uh, reopen, it'll put it back exactly to uh, where you had it originally, uh, highlighting exactly what uh, you were uh, addressing or making reference to. And it has a history here as well, how many times someone's replied, um, resolved, reopened it. And obviously at the moment, you see, you see myself. Uh, but in the real uh, example, you'll see the students and you going back and forwards with dialogue, which is a great tool to show. Um, development and um, growth in the uh, student's work, uh, especially when you have uh, a re recorded evidence of the kind of uh, feedback and uh, dialogue you're having with them in the first place. This is incredibly useful for any kind of coursework or, you know, if you are going through some exam style questions and you want them to understand what they need to do. Um, so that's that. I'm going to get rid of this because obviously this is the uh, master copy, so I don't want that here. There we go. Um, and as I said, if you do that, it will be on individual students' work. Because I've assigned it for individual students, the comments for one student will not be copied over to other students. It will be individual to each, peop each person's needs and uh, their work. Uh, and that's that. Hopefully you find some use with that.